Hey guys, Victoria Paxton here. Thanks for stopping back by my YouTube channel. Okay, so today we are doing, I shall call him Mini-Me, <laughs> Vern Troyer. Okay, so, you know, I of course saw him on Austin Powers, right? Um, I didn't know much about him other than the first time I heard his last name. I was like, oh, he's Amish because Troy or just like Yoder are like really popular Amish last names. My mother had really close Amish friends and we have Mennonites in the family. And yeah, so I was like, he's Amish. All right, you guys, like, subscribe, share, sit back, grab a drink. Here we go. Vern J. Troyer was born in Sturgis, Michigan on January 1st, 1969. He was the son of Susan, a factory worker, and Reuben Troyer, a repair technician. He had two siblings, David and Deborah. He said his parents never treated him any different than his average size siblings. You know, he went on to say uh, he used to carry wood, feed the cows, all the other stuff. So, Troyer had cartilage hair hypoplasia, which is a form of dwarfism. He was two foot eight inches tall. All right, so he was initially raised Amish. Uh, his parents left the faith when he was a child, but during his childhood, he spent a lot of time visiting Amish relatives in uh, Centerville, Michigan. Yeah, so he graduated from high school in 1987 from Centerville High School. Uh, there's a plaque that was dedicated to him at his high school in 2003, which is really cool. Troyer's, Tro I can't talk. Troyer's film career began when former, pres former president of the Little People of America contacted him, looking for someone to serve as a stunt double for the infant character Baby Bink in John Hughes' film Baby's Day Out in 1984. He gained further work as a stunt double with some minor comedic roles in several films of the 90s, including Dunstan Checks In, Jingle All the Way, which were both in 1996, Men in Black in 97, and My Giant in 1998. He first met with Jack Roach to discuss portraying Mini-Me in the Austin Powers series directed by Roach and starring co-creator Mike Myers before filming for the, before filming for the series. Myers was impressed with Troyer's performance and he rewrote the script uh, for Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, 1999, to give Mini-Me more screen time and remove the character's death. So Troyer reprised the role three years later in Austin Powers in Gold Member and the collaboration... And, oops, and, can't talk. And collaborated again with Myers on The Love Guru in 2008. After reaching a large audience as Mini-Me, Troyer portrayed Grip Hook in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in 2001, and he played the role of Percy in Terry Gilliam's fantasy film, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, in 2009, which I've actually never heard of. He also made several appearances as himself in reality TV shows. Vern was married to Genevieve Gallen, a former Playboy Playmate, in 2004. Vern was with Brittany... Roach from 2007 until his death. In early April 2018, Troy Troyer was admitted to a hospital after an incident in his home. He had previously been admitted to rehab to undergo treatments for alcoholism. On April 21st, 2018, Troyer died at the age of 49. No cause of death was immediately released. His death was reported as a possible suicide to the coroner who found very high levels of alcohol in his body, suggesting alcohol poisoning. His death was later ruled a suicide. He was cremated and his ashes were interned in a niche at Collin United Methodist Church, Columbarium in Collin, St. Joseph County, Michigan. Okay, so prior to his death, he called 911 and said he was suicidal. His blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. Wow. And he was like a small dude, so that like... I tried connecting with Vern Troyer, and this man comes through. Kind of looked a little bit like Vern Troyer. Voice kind of sounded like him, but it was much deeper. It was Vern Troyer, without dwarfism. He was just 
a grown dude, you know? It was crazy though. I was so confused at first, like, who is this coming through, <laughs> you know? All right, so we chit chatted. I told him who I was. We talked about his family. Um, he talked about his girlfriend and her son. Um, and has got a large group of friends he spoke about. So I said, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. And he said, me? <laughs> I said, <laughs> your depression, your addiction, your alcoholism, all that kind of stuff. Um, he went on to say that becoming famous wasn't what he thought it would be. You know, along with becoming famous came feeling alone. So many people say this. Like, it, it just blows my mind. Um, so he spoke about, you know, it was lonely because a lot of people treated him like he was a child because he was little, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, he said he had a hard time convincing people, look, just because I'm a little person doesn't mean I'm a child. I'm a grown man here, you know? He talked about, you know, going through life being different and the isolation that comes along with that, you know. He said, you know, it primarily started as he started getting older is when he started having a lot of issues, which I would have thought, you know, when he was in school, it would have been tough. But I guess, I don't know. He said it was tough because wherever he went, people would call him mini me. Like, you know, he's like, my name is Vern. Yeah. He said he, he would always try to laugh it off, but that it did affect him. It did hurt him. He said he felt like he was never taken seriously. He said that went from normal everyday contact with regular people all the way up to uh, movie producers, you know. He talked about how he, he was grateful that his mom and dad treated him just like his siblings, you know. Because that's the worst thing you can do for a little person is treat them different. That's what he said. Okay, he went on to talk about how he had battled severe depression for quite a few years, but that it had gotten to a breaking point in March and April, and he was just really at his wit's end. He said he had always contemplated suicide. For many, many years as an adult, he contemplated suicide. But he said he always backed out because of his faith. He said even though... I didn't go to church and I didn't talk about God, you know, the time that I had um, as an Amish person, he said, you know, I always had that in the back of my mind, like, what's going to happen to me? What's God going to do to me if I take my life? Okay, so he said a bunch of really private and personal things, um, and then he talks about, you know that it was ironic that here he is in the afterlife. And he said, there was always a part of him that thought, you know, when I die, I'll be accepted for who I am. And he said, here he is in the afterlife and he's average size. He has the height that he always wished that he had. And he said, how ironic is that? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool, but it's just so sad how many of these actors and actresses that come out and say how lonely they were. Ugh, breaks my heart. I mean, it really does. Um, be nice. Be kind. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a good week. I'll be back in a week. I'm going to Vegas with my sister. And I can't wait. <laughs> that about does it for me, guys. Bye, guys.